This is the P47 5.0 wireless headphones. Um, this is in almost every online store, especially Jumia and Conga. And this is going to be my second purchase. Not that it's that good. It's actually the worst small gadget I have bought in recent times. Now, if you'd like to know more about this particular gadget and why I said so, um, then keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. If this is your first time here, hi. My name is Fikemi, and if you're a returning subscriber or reviewer, hey, what's up? Thank you so much for joining me once again in today's video. Now, my intro wasn't or isn't as dramatic as it seems, but if you are looking for a, should I say, pocket-friendly headphone, then you might want to consider the P47 wireless headphones if you are willing to buy multiple pieces of it. Um, before I get into the review, I was bored and I needed something to just take away that boredom and I haven't owned a wireless headset. I have done the neckband, but I haven't actually done a headset. So I went on Jumia and I got a very cheap one. This was the very first one I started with, white. It's in pieces now, ironically, but I got so much use out of it before it broke into pieces and before it stopped charging. So I had to go ahead and get a second one. And this time, this one came in a box, unlike this that just came in a nylon bag and it didn't have an auxiliary cable, just a charging cable. So I went ahead to get this particular one in a different color that came in this box. So I'm, I'm going to unbox it and then just have one or two things to say about it. So stay tuned, watch out, and let's get going. So this is what the P47 wireless um, headphones um, looks like this is the box it's a black box that actually indicates the color of the headphone you're buying so I got this in gray and cyan or should I say turquoise I think I'll go with cyan so I got this in gray and cyan and it has a picture of the headset unfolded and folded on the side of the box and also what um, the controls, like more or less like a manual. It actually came with a manual as well. I can't find it. I know I've tossed it somewhere. But it has the um, display of what the controls of the device looks like. It has a power button, a play slash suspended telephone, the next song, volume in a song, FM. It has an FM radio. Um, so at the back of the box is more information about the gadget. It has a 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter diameter driver. It supports 5.0 Bluetooth, 5.0 versions and downwards. It has a standby time of up to 15 hours, talk time of up to six hours. It has a USB charging cable. It has a 10 meter scope of work and a whole lot of other features. So if you do get it, make sure you read all this information off the box and off the manual, which I can seem to find. Now, the black box itself is just a sleeve. The actual packaging is a red box, which is quite nifty. I mean, I actually thought it would be gray or cyan, but hey, it's red. And I don't mind that at all. So this is what the unit looks like. It comes folded in the box, so you have to gently unfold this gadget. It could be a bit stiff at first and has the tendency to break if you do try to unfold it forcefully, so be gentle. It has P47 wireless stamped on the body, unlike the previous one I got, which didn't have that, which is quite weird. So maybe these are coming from different factories. It doesn't really have where it's manufactured, but hey, what do I know? So this is how the unit looks like unfolded. It's a pretty lightweight headphone, almost childish if i were to suggest who to give this to i'd say this is more for kids because of the diameter of the earmuffs but hey what do i know now these are the controls it has the power button the volume keys the pause and play and also um, the mode key and it has a usb charging port 
um, and the auxiliary cable port. I haven't actually used the auxiliary cable. I haven't seen the need to, but maybe I might just try it in the nearest future, but hey, who knows? Now the other muff, well, there, there are two muffs, is empty. That has no controls, no gadgets whatsoever. But so you can actually alternate um, between your two ears, whichever ear you want the gadgets to, um, the control functions to be on. It's extendable, which is a quick, pretty nifty thing to have. So even if you have full voluminous hair, or you have an afro, or you have something going on on your head, you'll have a com comfortable position to place the headphones in. And before I forget, it has a US, no, uh, sorry, a micro SD card slot. I haven't tried that. I typically don't put music or anything on SD card. So this is going to be a very redundant part of the unit. But this is what it looks like. I like the color pairing. It's a very different color scheme. I'm a very monochromatic person, but this is different. Now the power button is a, an easy press. Once you press that, it comes up with a very light um, beep, tone beep and flashing indicating indicator lights to um, indicate whether it has paired with a device or it's pairing or it's just floating in mid space. Easy to put on, easy to put off, very easy to adjust. But if you get it newly, it's quite hard to fold. So be careful when you try to fold this device. Now, because of how small it is, if you are a big handbag lover like myself, this would fit into any medium sized handbag that has a lot of space and you'd still have enough room for any other thing in the bag. But just be careful so that you don't have anything that puts any unnecessary pressure on it because this thing snaps like a twig literally so just be careful when you fold and unfold this headphone um, so that you can get the best use out of it um, in the long run yeah now this device comes with an auxiliary cable Unlike the previous unit that I got, that didn't come with this particular cable, and I'm, I'm still wondering why was I cheated. And I got them for almost the same price, maybe just save like a difference of five hundred. Because if you shop on Jumia regularly, you know how Jumia fluctuates their prices. It's one price today, it's one price tomorrow, and this is the tiny USB charging cable. I don't know why this cable is so short, so I'd advise that you switch to a longer one if you want to charge the device. Or if you don't mind charging it on the floor or on a table, then go ahead and use that cable. Okay, so let's get into how this device actually works. So I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth on my phone. Um, it's already on, so I'm just going to go ahead to make sure that this device is seen and I can pair with the device. I see it there, P47, and I pair, and that's, it's as simple as that. It's, you don't have to search um, for a very long time before you actually see the device. And it also shows you the battery percentage um, so that you have an idea of how long you can use the device for. Um, right now it's at 80%, so I guess, I can use this for a while before I have to charge it. Mind you, I haven't charged this particular unit because I haven't used it. I've been using the whites before, um, the white one before it died out on me. So I'm just going to start using this particular unit um, with this video. <laughs> now, because of copyright, I'm not going to be able to play the actual songs that I'm playing with this media player. I'm actually on Boom Play in one of my on, on one of my most, uh, my favorite playlists, um, the Heartstopper Season 2 playlist. But I think this is going to have to wait and I'm going to have to try a different audio outlet because this is 
giving me a headache. I think I have to re-download all these songs all over again. So let's switch to a more device-friendly, copyright-friendly um, mode of music. And I think I'll do YouTube. Yes, let's do YouTube, shall we? Now with YouTube, I'm going to do the audio library because that's like the safest place I can play music or audio from without getting copyright strikes. Or maybe just do a random audio on my phone, but nah. Let's do audio library. Now we're in audio library. I'm just going to look for a playlist um, to play so that I can demonstrate the forward, the back functions, the increase and decrease volume functions as well, play and pause, and all that good stuff. So playlist it is, any random one. I don't have any particular preference. So we're going to play all. And that's the playlist. Now, if you have a look at my phone, I'm just going to skip that video so that I can start with the audio or video. And now this is the very first song in the playlist. Now, if you watch the screen, I'm actually actually pause that video. It was no lag. There wasn't any, it didn't lag or time out while in initiating that play slash pause. And now this is the skip or the forward function. And it's seamless. The connection is seamless. And I'm probably because of the distance, but I have tried this on a longer distance and the play, pause, forward, and the back functions worked perfectly. So I'm still alternating between the forward. Now for volume, it handles the volume controls very well as well. It increases the volume, long press to um, increase on the forward button and long press to decrease on the back button. And it alternates between the volume controls on the phone effortlessly. Isn't any lag in communication? I know Though I had um, some lags, lapses or lags with the white one, but this blue and gray has been very seamless so far. Now, this device is playing at the loudest volume. I'm just going to bring it as close to the camera as I can to show you how loud it is. I wouldn't advise playing this particular unit at the loudest volume because the next person sitting um, or someone or someone sitting beside you would be able to listen to what you're listening to. It can be really loud. I mean, if it's this loud out, then imagine how loud it is in one's ear or in your ear. So 40, 50, even 30% is a good listening volume for this device. And like I said, the functions are very seamless, very smooth, very fluid, no lags. Um, no time lapse because I've noticed some um, Bluetooth devices have like this one two second lag, but this one doesn't. It just alternates between um, tracks, especially video. Now these are videos and it's doing so well with the video option. And it also does the same thing with the audio. It's quite um, seamless, if I might add. Now it does have a radio function that I have not been able to figure out how to use both with my previous units and this particular unit. So I don't know if anyone knows how to, maybe they can put me through, but I still haven't been able to figure that out. So I'm just going to keep holding out until I can do that. And yeah, so moving on, let's see what else we can do with this little piece of hardware. So this device also um, functions as hands-free for calls, making calls, having meetings and all that. So I'm just going to dial myself and then pick the call with the device. I'm not even going to touch the phone. And that picks it easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's that. And can you hear me sing? <laughs> Okay, so that's that. So if you were worried about this device, you alter interfering with picking or making a phone call, you can even use it for conference meetings, Zoom meetings and all that good stuff. It doesn't, um, when pairing, it gives you the option of 
accessing your phone book and some other other functions i declined that so it doesn't have access to anything other than the access i've given it that's um audio video controls and to receive calls i can't even make calls with this i can't make a call with it but i can receive a call now i'm back on boom play i turned on my data so i just wanted to try an audio player this time and to show you how it communicates with the device and with the app itself so it's quite seamless no lags well with this i'm going to have to turn off the audio obviously because of copyright but just watch the screen and listen to how i manipulate the device to see which functions i'm using so this is the play and the pause and it just plays and pauses and it skips the um audio as well no lags nothing whatsoever am i playing this yes it looks like i'm playing now when switching between modes especially to the radio mode it has a beat it makes us makes a beep but like i said i haven't been able to figure out how to work that particular function so it's only going to be used as a bluetooth head headset a wireless bluetooth headset to listen to music to watch my videos while on the go while in my bedroom while working while doing anything it's just a very tiny fragile device that i wouldn't rate highly but at the same time it's a fun device to use my experience using this device hasn't been the best i mean i do have a broken piece of hardware here and actually this breaking was my fault i yanked at it too hard and i was even still trying to you know manage just one ear using it at home until it stopped charging it literally stopped charging so this device is practically useless and i got it in white which was quite unique in a way because everybody kind of knew me as the girl with the white headphones but now that this went bad i just felt like i didn't give it enough um, I didn't use it enough to actually give a very comprehensive, fair review about the product. I think this is better suited for kids. Um, I might be wrong, but at the same time, I, I, I think so, or I believe so, because the muffs are a bit small. I'm going to put this on my ear right now. And like I said, you have to be very careful um, while handling this because it's very fragile. And I prefer having the control functions on my right side it's just easier to control and even though i have my hair up in an updo this actually sits without any adjustment i think this looks really well and i only wear this when i'm in like on the road in transit or i'm at home i'm working i'm editing and i need to listen to um, my sound keenly or i'm having a moving movie night if i don't want to have my wireless speaker I use this but I think it's, in my opinion, it's not something that um, I think highly of. I just bought it because it was cheap. I don't know if it's still cheap now. I got this for less than 5,000 naira. Same with the other one. I don't know if that's, it's the same price, but that's how much I got it for. And for the price, I wasn't really thinking too much about it. But at the same time, I've gotten really pocket-friendly gadgets that are doing the Lord's work. But trust me when I say you could buy this, but at the same time, this could most likely be one of the worst. I feel like I'm being very harsh with this tiny device, but one of the worst headphones in the market for the price. And I'm being really fair. So I'm going to use this till it dies out on me like the white. And I'll know that at least I got something out of a very good deal <laughs> so if you've used this oh my goodness if you've used this before let me know what you think in the comments um i'd really like to know how to operate the radio the radio is something i'd like to listen to while on the road or something just you know breaking news and all that good stuff so if you've used this device let me know i'll be in the comments and i will see you in my next video bye